Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On a recent vacation, I saw this picture frame for sale and I just fell in love with it. I thought maybe I could recreate it because it had a pretty pricey um, price tag on it. They wanted $25 for it. So using Dollar Tree items, I decided to try this. I had gotten this um, little oink from Dollar General. It was 70% off, so I paid 33 cents. I'm going to be using some chalk paint, some wall words from Dollar General, and this um, mermaid plaque that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using full guard in white, and I just went blank. I think elephant and some truffle. So if you bought any of these signs over the summer, the mermaid signs, the first thing you want to do is take off that mermaid, and you have a nice little plaque left. So just using some sandpaper, I'm getting rid of the rough edges and using my folk art in white, I'm going to cover this whole plaque in the white chalk paint. Here's the tricky part. It has chicken wire on the back and it just has little staples. You know you would think that would be so easy to remove, but they weren't. The chicken wire gives and you can't just rip it off. So using quite a few tools, I finally just used my little pick for my Silhouette Cameo and was able to pry underneath those little bitty staples to remove that oink from that um, chicken wire frame. So I set that little piggy aside because I'll use that for a future project. And I'm just going to take some elephant paint and just kind of dry brush over the white just to give it more of a wood effect. And I love that gray paint. I love the color. And whenever you just use a little bit and just dry brush over it, you really get that wood grain effect. So now coming in with my truffle, I am going to do the same thing, just to add a little brown to it and really, um, you know, just like I said, give it that wood effect. So I'm doing the edges and the corners with the truffle and just a little bit in the middle. So now taking that sign that I got from Dollar General, hopefully um, you guys can find this. It was so cute and it was such a great deal when it went on clearance. I'm going to mimic that picture frame that I showed you. I love the chicken wire, so I decided to keep that chicken wire on there. I didn't have to do anything to the sign because it already looked distressed and vintage and farmhouse, so I did not paint it at all. I just added a little bit of hot glue on the back of it, and I glued it to the Dollar Tree um, platform sign that I had. And now it's coming alive. I think it really looks like that picture frame that I fell in love with on vacation. Mm -hmm. 
Dollar General has amazing wall words and I love this one because you really get your bang for the buck because you can use each um, individual saying or you can use it as the grouping that it was intended for but it has so many words on it that it is so useful for so many projects. For this project I am just going to use the word blessing that you see on here. And see they fit they just peel right off of it um there is it i don't know how to explain this properly it's like a one one piece it's not just the words you do see a little bit of the clear but it is nothing to take away from the beautiful project using these little clips that you can get i think it's like 25 or 50 in a pack for a dollar at dollar tree i'm just gonna glue it on in the center and then I'm going to hang a picture from it. You could glue, if I'm hanging a little bitty picture on here, if you could glue um, three of these to it if you wanted and hang three little pictures or glue one, and I think it would fit like a four by six picture if you cut it down a little bit. But it's so cute. I love the way it turned out. It's unique and it didn't have that $25 price tag. This cost me under $2 to make. So there it is in my family room, and I absolutely love it. I hope you do too. So let's get on to the next project in this video. So for my second project, I am gonna try to make a farmhouse mirror sign. And I had some mirrors that I had gotten from Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree has some amazing fall floral out. It's just so beautiful. I'm gonna use two more of those signs from Dollar General. I bought all of them. I think I got seven signs because at 33 cents a piece and they're so cute, I couldn't pass them up. So um, this one has a sheep and a cow on it. And again, they're not easy to get off that chicken wire. But I did, and I saved the little cow and the um, sheep for a future project. Now taking a, a mirror from Dollar Tree, I am going to remove it from the frame. I'm just going to use the mirror part for this project. And I'm going to take my chicken wire picture frames from Dollar General and hot glue one on the bottom, and I'm going to hot glue the other one on the top of the mirror. So I decided to give this project a more finished look that I would take the backing that came with the mirror and hot glue it to the back of the mirror. It gives it a more finished look. It also has hangers on the back of it. As you can see, there's one that you could hang it horizontal or you could hang it vertical. So I thought that would be a nice added touch just in case I want to hang this on the wall. Um, right now, I've decided to just lean it up against my wall and I just thought for the future, you know, it gives you more possibilities. So using some burlap, I think I got this burlap from Walmart. You can get a pretty big roll for like $5 and it lasts and it's useful for many, many projects. I'm going to cut the edges off and then I'm going to start peeling away the burlap because I wanted a frayed look. Now I cut it so that I could glue it on the bottom of the one picture frame and the top of the other. 
I wanted the burlap to cover that gap that you see in between the two picture frames. So after I cut it to size and I frayed the edges, I just used some hot glue and I hot glued it to the bottom of the picture top. <laughs> okay guys, here we go. I glued it to the bottom of the top frame and the top of the bottom frame. So using some thicker burlap that I had gotten from Big Lots actually over the Christmas holiday, I am going to cut little triangles on each end and I'm going to hot glue that to the center of this the same way I did the burlap. And that also will give it a design, but it will also hide the gap where you can see in between the two picture frames. I don't know about you guys, but I just absolutely love polka dots. And I love that Dollar General, or not Dollar General, but Dollar Tree always usually has this polka dotted burlap ribbon. So they it's different colors. There's white, I think there's black polka dots too. I'm using the one with the white polka dots and just making a bow. And I'm going to hot glue that bow to the center of that burlap. I'm in love with Dollar Tree's floral for the fall this year. It's so beautiful. So I thought these, I think they're daisies and they're a light beige. I thought they would go perfect with this. And what's nice about this is I'm not hot gluing these flowers in. I am just sticking them into the chicken wire and it holds perfectly. And what's nice is if I want to change out the flowers for a different season, I can because they're not hot glued. So you're just taking the stem or taking the flower, cut it to size, and then putting the stem into the chicken wire. And like I said, I can use this for fall. If I want to use it for spring, all I have to do is change the flowers. And there it is in my family room. I love these two pieces. They're cute and country and so simple and affordable to make. I hope you love this too. I had fun sharing this video with you. If you like these and you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button and ring that bell for future notifications. I have so many upcoming fall projects that I want to share with you. And as y'all know, my favorite holiday is coming up, Halloween. So I can't wait to get started on the Halloween spooky apothecary jar just i don't know i have so many ideas for halloween this year so thanks again y'all thanks for joining me i'll see you again soon